rejection from all angles. I am, I can't, I can't. This is like, this is like the worst day. I'm so angry. So I have to calm down. Let me just turn the volume down here. I've been home all day, day off, washing my hair, doing shit to it. But let me tell you. Yeah, I'm cleaning my ears. Mr. Chicago, nowhere to be seen. That's that narcissistic ghosting. You know, fuck him. Um, then the CBT lady, the one that I want to quit, because I go to two groups, the one that I want to quit, she be a bitch and she go, uh, she don't have any more people going there. So she wants to make sure that at least that's three who are going. Um, and she's talking about the New Year's to have it maybe at her place because there's not that many people. And she has to start promoting the group again, you know, with flyers. And she, she deposits flyers at certain places, you know, under the radar, you know, because it's not kosher. And I'm like, oh, I'm all for that, you know, because hospitals and shit. They don't want to help you. Doctors don't want to help you here. It's all for their own, right? So, um, I offered to help, you know, with her with the flyers and stuff. This is all by email. And, because uh, I would learn how to do that for my personal training, how to get into hospitals and see, you know. And then I got the message by her second email back saying, you know, um, first she said, like, are you sure you want to do it? It's a lot of work. And I'm like, I don't mind. I'd learn from it. And it was a weird reaction, you know? And she's like, well, you stand out, and I got to be under the radar. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. Well, I didn't answer that. I'm like, I got you. I got your message, bitch. <laughs> you all for yourself. You're trying, to make a, you're trying to make coin. That's all it is. It's fine, but fuck you very much, you know, I'm not going to your stupid Christmas party, I stopped going to it anyways because it's fucking geriatric there and I couldn't take it, but I'm fucking angry, you know, fucking bitch, she's allowed to have her own opinion, but don't go asking me for anything because I'm never helping you, because you're a fucking piece of shit bitch, right? Um, we could work something out, but you obviously, by the, the long emails you're sending me, and you're always voice activated emails because you don't type, you stupid bitch. Um, we could have worked something out, you know. I'm not stupid, but you made obvious that you're not interested in that. You know, you want to do it on your own. Well, fuck you. I'm going to this next meeting because I already paid for it. But don't depend on me for anything, you stupid fucking whore. And I hope you fucking have your stupid problems with your leg and your nervous system and then you could choke on it, you stupid bitch, and die a horrible death. <laughs> See how angry I am? So. When shit like this happens, <clears throat> I start thinking of other situations in my head, you know, of other people who fucked with me. And I just want to fucking, you know, fuck them up. But I, I know it doesn't help me, you know. just need to maintain my cool. Stay calm. And, you know, I'm going to this meeting. Um, I'm going to lower the volume. I don't know if you can hear it above that. But I'm going to this meeting because I want to learn, you know, from other people. And to this date, there's, you know, less people there. Uh, but initially, I was always, like, I was always writing in my journal. I, I do these videos now. I don't write in my journal anymore. It doesn't serve a purpose for me. I was using it as a record to see how my improvement over the years. Um, not doing it to actually calm me down. Just noting things. And um, she would always ask, you know, she would, it, when she had people wanting to say things during the class, during the meeting, 
you know, I wouldn't volunteer, but she would, you know, know I would have something every time. And, and I'm realizing that, it's, you know, it's my perfectionism trying to be polite and pleasing everybody and stuff like that. Now it's like, no, I I'm, I'm don't have anything to say. I, I prefer to listen and I prefer that we read. And I'll say that each time. I realize that me talking is not helping. It's not. Talking to you and the camera and any of you who listen, that's helping. Uh, obviously, these feelings are not going to go away. It's how I deal with them that's going to help in the long run. <clears throat> Especially in terms of my health. You know, I, I, for Mr. Chicago, I mean, obviously, he's got a lot of anger. And it, mani it could manifest himself in headaches and stuff. Because from what we've been talking about, you know, he's thinking of getting a CT scan for his headaches and stuff like that. And he left his last job, what he told me, due to migraines and stuff. So it could be very well be true. It could very well also be that um, it was triggered by our little argument or conversation. You know, that's on him. If he doesn't want to discuss it and he just wants to avoid talking to me, it's on him. But fuck him. That's not a good way to communicate. That's an, especially after a few days, it's a very um, immature way of communicating. So I don't run after him. The problem is I don't have anyone else to talk to. So my, I'm awake realizing that, okay, Miss CBT bitch is a bitch. Mr. Chicago is a bitch. Um, I just got to calm down and go on with my day and keep doing it and try to be strong and not try to, well, first of all, Mr. Chicago, not run after him. Um, if, he, if he turns it around and says, oh, I don't care about him, I just say, well, I do, baby. You got to take care of yourself. I'm here for you. And that's it. Um, and Mrs. CBT, you know, well, I have nothing to say. I'd like, you know, listen to other people and just keep with that because everyone for themselves. I was going to that class to help me, you know. That's why most people are doing it. And that's it. I'm no longer talking about anything. And when she presses me for it and be like, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to say. I'd rather we listen or maybe we could read a little bit. Or maybe Monique could talk a little bit more. Like that. And not be afraid of the conflict. If she kicks me out, well, fuck you very much. Good for you. Choke on that. We'll see how I feel about that come next week. Um, it could be just anger in the moment. And then, of course, it's the guy yesterday, the client who never showed up. He could be dead. His father could be dead. I have no contact from him. And I'm not running after him because... He's 50, you know, he's pushing 50, and that's the whole problem. He has to take some responsibility for himself. Uh, but this is exceptional that he wouldn't contact me before the, the, um, the actual date. So there probably is something wrong. So, depending on how he, he comes up at me with, I will, you know, probably listen and see, but I have to charge him for this session. He never even called or anything, so... Uh, that's about it. I'm feeling a little bit better. I might talk a little bit more later as I get ready for bed. Let my hair dry a little bit. Put a towel on it when I go to bed and fix it in the morning. Um, 